Hi. In this video I will show you how to install Windows 10 Pro on dual boot after installing Ubuntu 20.10 on UEFI mode and how to update the grub menu. Before we start, to stay up to date with my latest videos, please make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the button above this video. And please stay tuned until the end of this video so you don't miss any steps. In my case, Ubuntu 2010 is installed on UEFI mode. So I will install Windows in the same mode. First, we will free up some space from our hard disk for installing Windows 10. We can shrink the partition containing data to free up space for Windows. But you cannot resize the partition containing Ubuntu system files while it's in use. You'll need a Ubuntu Live CD or G parted Live CD drive to edit your partitions. In this tutorial, we use G parted Live tool to shrink the partition. My laptop as HP Omen. I push on the escape button for the startup menu then F9 for the boot menu. I use multi bootable USB from ISO with Ventoy. You can watch the video on the right top. Boot on G Parted Live Tools. Click on G Parted Live. Push Enter. Choose Language and push Enter. The G Parted tool starts automatically. To resize the disk, right click on the partition and click on Resize, Move. Shrunk the size of the Windows partition and apply that. Click Resize, Move. Now apply the modification and wait for the process to finish. Once you've shrunk a partition, you could use the unallocated space to create a new NTFS partition, or leave it unallocated, in Windows installation we will format it. Now apply the modification and wait for the process to finish. Now restart the computer. Insert a bootable DVD or USB disk of Windows 10. Now, I select Escape button for the startup menu then F9 for the boot menu. Check the bottom of your computer's boot menu. Select the bootable USB for Windows 10 in UEFI mode. I use multi-bootable USB from ISO with Ventoy. You can watch the video on the right top. And also you can watch the video how to create Windows 10 bootable USB on Ubuntu on the right top. Now Windows 10 install has launched. Select the language for install and next. Click on install now. Check accept the license terms. Select a custom installation. Now we can select the partition are created earlier. If not formatted click on new, then click next. The installation process will start. If your system is connected to the internet windows may install updates as well. Wait till the installation process is complete. Once Windows 10 restarted, the computer boot on the first bootloader option mentioned on UEFI mode in the BIOS, the Windows bootloader, or the Grub bootloader. If booted on Windows bootloader you can continue the installation of Windows 10 then update the order of boot on UEFI mode make Ubuntu the first one on BIOS, and finally, update the Grub menu. You can also watch this step on the video on how to install Windows 10 after Ubuntu 20.04 on the right top. Else if booted on Ubuntu, 
First you must update the Grub menu then continue the installation of Windows 10. Let's repair the Grub bootloader and restore the Ubuntu operating system. Boot on Ubuntu. Open the terminal. Type sudo update grub2. Wait for the process to complete. You can see the Windows bootloader is added in Grub menu. Now restart the computer. We can see that the Windows boot manager does appear in the Grub menu and we can choose between Ubuntu and Windows operating system. Boot on Windows 10 to continue the installation on Windows 10. The setup will continue to start services. Now select your region. Select the keyboard layout. If you want to create a local account without Microsoft account you must click on I don't have internet then continue with limited setup. The computer will restart. Otherwise, connect to the internet and select the setup for personal use option, then enter your Microsoft account. Don't forget to select Windows on the Grub menu to resume the installation. Type your name and click Next to continue. Create a strong password followed by secret questions. Now continue with Configure Services. Your Windows 10 operating system is ready for use. That's all, it's easy. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment. Make sure to subscribe, so you don't miss out on my future videos.